program. This is a, a great program for young people, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it's a great program for both uh, homeless high school boys and homeless high school girls. Mm -hmm. uh, Mac is an alumni of the program. He has some very interesting mm -hmm. stories. Great. Well, we're going to talk to you in just a minute, okay? You stay tuned right here. But first, we're going to go to Stacy Delicat, who tells us more about these really great programs. Check this out. When this group is together, it's all smiles, but their special bond is one that started from far more somber circumstances. You don't have anything, but then you meet a bunch of people who don't really have anything, and then you guys can create something together. The young adults are all former members of the groups Simba and Aset. Simba stands for Safe in My Brother's Arms, Aset, all sisters evolving together. Both are for homeless New York City high school students. Shaquana Laws, now 22, was one of them. When you're going to high school and you're going to school and you live in temporary housing, you live in a shelter, or your family don't have it, you kind of feel ashamed. Ashley Kirkland lived it too. It's pretty difficult because you can't flat out tell your peers. Um, even if you have a close friend, they're kind of scared for um, their perception of you to change if you confide in them that, hey, you know, I don't go home to a regular house. But when outreach workers at the shelters invited them to join a set, their lives began to change. When you go to Asset or Simba, Everybody's living in a shelter. Everybody's in high school. Everybody's in Brooklyn. And you're like, whoa, like, there's other kids in the world that's like me. It was a brotherhood and then just um, a lifeline. The two programs were started in 2007 by Department of Education employee Wayne Harris. I'm ASPT. They want to be like me. An estimated 2,000 students have graduated from the programs and graduated high school, too, almost all going on to college. Among the support, services, and activities involved are campus tours. It made me see the benefits of outside of where I was living and where I could potentially go in life. It helped me realize how important work ethic is, like how you have to basically rely on yourself to get things done. On one school break, Harris took a group of kids down to North Carolina to build homes for those in need with Habitat for Humanity. The weird part about it is that a bunch of people from New York City who are currently temporarily displaced, they don't have homes, are going to get up, go down there to help build homes for other people. The programs are funded almost entirely by the Department of Education, but Harris says the overarching goal goes beyond getting the kids to finish high school. The single most thing that's important to me is that they grow up to be good people, to be solid citizens, um, to... Um, be respectful, hardworking, and have those values. At that, it seems he has succeeded. Stacy Delacat, Fox 5 News. All right, Stacy, thank you very much. Wayne and Mac are back with us right now. I like what you said there, you know, giving kids an opportunity to really feel good about themselves and be productive. Uh, how did you decide to start this program? Well, back in 2007, we saw a huge need, a huge gap in services, mm -hmm. uh, specifically for homeless high school students, both boys and girls, and we had to jump in and fill that need. Yeah, and, and it's great that you're able to take them through the program. You said like, like 2,000 people have gone through it, but it's important also after what happened happens after they, they graduate and they go into life. Well, this is lifetime membership here. Most programs stop after kids graduate high school. Mm -hmm. And what we realize is that there's power in having an alumni meaningfully involved in a program. I mean, I can give Stan and give all, get on the soapbox and give all the lectures sure. I want, mm -hmm. but it's magic. The secret sauce oh, is yeah. when alumni who have walked through the same halls, been to the same shelters, yeah been through the same experience, share their wisdom with the young I love it. And Mac, you're one of the first graduates. Yes, sir. And you excelled in the program, from what I understand. Yes, sir. Also in the Navy. Yes, sir. Now you're an electrician. How's that going? That's going pretty well for me, going really well for me. The program has given me a lot of foundation, a lot of my stepping stones that I continue mm -hmm. to use to this day, learning not to let any environment to, you know, control right. my aspect of what I'm going to do mm -hmm. in the future. That's a lot of what the program did for me. Yeah, and you had a lot of challenges going through this program, too, right? You should share with people. It's, it, nothing's that easy. Right, nothing is easy. No. I mean, I have a story as long as, as much as every, everybody else has a story. And, you know, just going through high school and in the, in, uh, the shelter throughout the temporary temporary housing system, it was hard, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of uh, children were going back home, and I was going to a, a shelter, you know what I mean? So right. a lot of guidance counselors, teachers, uh, they didn't know about that, you know what I mean? So that's the aspect that really needs to be 
Yeah, I'm woken about it. And Wayne, I, I know you're very, very careful and very close to what's going on, right? I mean, each student is very important to you. Each yeah. student, uh, you know, d demands that kind of attention and care. And that's one of the things we do really well at Simba and the set, mm -hmm. is keep our finger on the pulse of the population. Mm -hmm. um, providing individualized services, not just group services, not uh, cookie-cutter services, but making sure that we're meeting the individual needs of our young people. Yeah, and uh, you've, you've been through all kinds of things. So uh, you, you work with the program Habitat for Humanity as well? Right. I've, uh, yes, I did work with uh, Habitat for Humanity. We went down there in South Carolina. It was a great opportunity of giving back to those people, giving back to somebody in need. When something was given to you, that's, up, that's what you should always do. That. Listen, we want to put up on the screen right now, we got a phone number that you gave us. This is, uh, we'll put it up right now. There it is, 718-802-0666. Uh, Manfred Carr is the contact there. If they go to that number, what will they learn, okay? Well, they'll learn about community counseling and mediation. They're one of our strategic partners, and they're another uh, ingredient in our secret sauce to make this program work. Mm -hmm. In order to be responsive to young people, you have to have an agency behind you that has the yeah, you do. financial capacity mm -hmm. and are liquid and can be responsive to our ever-evolving needs. I know. Now, CCM also provides a lot of wraparound services as well. That's great. And, um, we, and you mentioned, too, that this is a program for both men, young men, and young women as well. You do a great job with that, too. Thank you very much. Okay. Simba and the set. Um, uh, a set meaning all sisters evolving together. Simba is safe in my brother's arm. I love it. Good work, guys. Congratulations, okay? Yes, Keep sir. up the good work. We love it. Thank you. All Thank right, you. Thank you. Uh, coming up next year.